She goes, windward ho! A ship! I'll tell you a tale of the bottomless blue And it's hay to the starboard he pulls Brave sailor, beware, cause I'm digging some brew In mysterious fathoms, fathoms below Fathoms below, below From whence wayward westerlings blow Where Triton is king and his merpeople sing In mysterious fathoms below isn't this perfection, Grimsby? Out here where the seas meet the sky, surrounded by nothing but water. Oh, yes, it's simply delightful. <laughs> the salt on your skin and the wind in your hair and the waves as they ebb and they flow. We're miles from the shore, and guess what? I don't care! As for me, I'm about to heave up. Well, call the line! I'll sing you a song of the king of the sea And his day to the starboard he The ruler of all of the oceans is seen In mysterious fathoms below King of the sea? Why, that's nautical nonsense Nothing but a superstition The king of the ocean gets angry And when he gets angry, beware I'm telling you, lad, when King Triton gets mad How the waves will buck Rock to and fro, hold on, good luck, pass down you go. Do you hear something? My lord, please, enough seafaring. You've got to get back to court to honor your father's dying wish and take up his crown. Suppose I don't want his crown. You'd forsake his kingdom, all of his treasure. <laughs> Treasures? You mean like this? Who needs it? We drink straight out of the bottle, don't we, boys? <laughs> or this. Not when we've got the sun and the moon to light our way. Or this. No thanks. I'd rather eat with my bare hands. What? What? You are a prince, I am not a common sailor. These men are anything but common. They're free, Grimsby, truly free. They don't have to answer to anyone but the sea. I'd rather be a sailor than a prince any day. This is where I belong. Everything seems more real here. Strange how at home I feel here in the tide's swift flow. And when the pool is strong, I almost think I hear the sea. Wild and free, calling me from fathoms. Not while I'm captain. Now follow that voice to the ends of the earth if we have to. Aye, aye, captain! There's mermaids out there in the bottomless blue And it's hay to the starboard before. Watch out for a lad or you'll go to your ruin Mysterious fathoms below Haven't you ever been to the surface before? Uh, sure. <laughs> Me and the other fish in my school, uh, we come up here all the time. Is that so? Sure. <laughs> We're not scared of sharks or boats or fishermen. Mm. <laughs> What's a chump bucket? Are those for real? You are afraid, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm here now, aren't I? With you, Flounder, you're blushing. It's sunburn. You get it up here. Are you flirting with me? No, Splash! No way! <laughs> but if I was... Hey, guess what I found to say? It was floating in the wake of a giant ship. Treasure? Look! Have you ever seen anything so amazing in your entire life? Cool. What is it? I don't know. A speed check! Altitude check! Landing gears! Check. 
Clear the runway! Ah! Hello, Ariel. But I know just who to ask. Scuttle, look what we found! Oh, more human paraphernalia, eh? But you've come just to the right blade. I happen to be an expert on that very speciality. Can you tell us what it's for? Oh, this is rare. Redonkulously rare. And in Sistine condition. What? What is it? It's a dingle hopper! A dingle hopper? Commonly found in saloons, yes. Of the beauty variety. Oh. You see, humans, they like to wear their hair and tails. Pony, pig, duck. It's all the same to them. A primp here and a twirl there and voila! A pump adorable! Oh. And it's all thanks to... The dingle hopper! I give you two sand dollars for it. Scuttle, no. I'm telling you, kid. Out in the sea, you won't get more than a few clams. I'm prepared to offer you... I'm not selling it, Scuttle. I'm saving it for my collection. How's about a swap? I've got something stupidicious for you. Behold, the banded, bulbous, snuffblat! Second cousin to the tuba. It makes music? Sure thing, kid. <laughs> and I ain't just blowing smoke. Why, this thing makes music so marvocabulous, so music? stupid. Oh, no, the concert. My father's going to kill me. The concert was today. I completely forgot. Come on, Flounder. Thank you, Snuggle. Hey, you change your mind. You want to sell. You call me first, you hear? Benevolent merfolk. Creatures of the deep, today marks a special anniversary for many years ago on this fateful day. I inherited my father's kingdom and banished that sea witch Ursula forever. All oh, hail King Dragon! <laughs> now it is time to celebrate our victory in honor of the occasion. May I introduce the Master of Ceremonies. Now presenting the chord composer. Horatio Delaney Signatius Crustaceous Sebastian. Morning to you! So, tell us, what have you in store? I got a special song just for the occasion, and it's gonna be performed by none other than your seven lovely daughters. I wrote this little number for my star pupil. Hmm, and who might that be? Your youngest, Ariel, such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such a magnificent sound since... Since Her Royal Highness. May she rest in peace. Oh. You're gonna be a proud papa. You'll see. If only she'd show for rehearsals once in a while. Let the merriment begin. Oh, we are the daughters of Triton, great father who loves us and named us well. A quarter and Trina Arista, Trina Della, Alana and Ariel. Concert we hope to enlighten the hearts of the merfolk with music swell a quata Adrina Arista Adina Adela Alana And then there is the youngest in her musical debut Our seventh little sister we're presenting her to you To sing a song Sebastian wrote her voice is like a bell Really? Aren't we better than that? 
No. Honestly, Daddy, you let Eric get away with everything. Mm -hmm. No, no. I love all my daughters equally. Oh, please. That answers is Candace Tuna and twice as oily. Arissa's prettier than Ariel. And Gina's smarter, a lot sweeter. Atina's older. And Adela. Let's face it, Daddy. You're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get. Oh. Hey, what do you have that Ariel doesn't? Naked ambition and a willingness to kill! Oh. 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 That's enough! Oh. One son, no. Sebastian. No. Was that too oh. much to hope for? Now please, I don't go pointing your puppies right at that knee! Oh, I'm sorry, Sebastian. Oh. You might go whipping up a hurricane by mistake. Look what the catfish dragged in. <gasps> Daddy, forgive me. I'm so sorry. Eric. I just forgot. That's all. Young lady, as a result of your careless Careless behavior, and reckless behavior. The entire celebration was ruined. ruined. Completely destroyed. This concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Oh, Sebastian. Oh, no thanks to you. I am the laughing stock of the old kingdom. We had a date with a whale of a guy. I don't seem like it for anybody. <laughs> Mother Cute. loved me best, and now she's gone. Oh, Do you, you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Leave. Oh. Ariel, please. You've been given such a gift. I know, my mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent. One that demands stewardship and care. So please, Ari, for the sake of her memory. I will, Daddy, I promise. But it wasn't Ariel's fault! That Noel Seagull said it! Seagull? <laughs> Seagull? You went up to the surface again? Nothing happened. You could have been seen by one of those barbarians. One of those humans. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They're dangerous. Traps, harpoons. Like it or not, Ariel, you're my youngest, my baby. So I worry about you the most. But I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you will obey my rules. If you would just listen to me for once. That is the last time you are ever swimming to the surface. Is that understood? You're so unfair. Uh, uh, oh, heaven help me. She's headstrong, willful, stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, you give them an inch, and they swim all over you. I can govern the whole kingdom. I can't even control my own daughter. I was too harsh. She'll learn to fear me. I don't want that. She needs her mother, Sebastian, and so do I. If only she were here, she knows just what to say. She calmly and yet firmly helped the girl to find her way. She knows what to forbid and what we must allow. She had the strength and patience that I lack somehow. Oh, what I would give to have her back. Sire, it's difficult, sure, but you got to toughen up, not melt down, for Ariel's sake. I'm telling you, that child needs constant supervision, someone to watch over her, keep her out of trouble. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's not such a bad idea. Someone to safeguard her every move. Her every dog battle. Her every side. Her truck. every dive. And you are just as proud to do it. What? You heard me. What? But now on Ariel is your responsibility. <laughs> you mine! But your majesty, she's a clever mermaid, and I'm just a crustacean! Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary scale! Oh, mistress of the deep, you 
beauty of the bride. You should have seen it, all those merfolk singing trident praises and cursing your name. Declaring a national holiday. <laughs> holiday, my blow! It was simply the day that my brother Triton stole my half of the kingdom. <sighs> to think. Your very own flesh and blood. And he double crossed <laughs> you. His own sister. Casting you into exile. A life of shame and unceasing solitude. Into the shadowy depths of a serpentine sea. All right, all right, boys. Don't blow your fuses. Oh, it should have been mine. All oh, mine. <laughs> a kid, a squirmy little squid. I was number seven, born of seven little girls, seven little pearls, pretty as can be, perfect to a T, all except for me. Ugly as a slug, hideous to hug. Daddy found me loathsome and disgusting, I could tell. They all got adored, I just got ignored. Plus to ease his guilt and magic shell. Used to belong to my papa Poseidon. Full of dangerous spells and hexes The perfect gift for a dangerously unstable child Most of all, Daddy loved one sister So feminine, so fresh, so fine I would watch as he'd hug and kiss her And I hated her guts to the bottom of my Daddy's little angel, Daddy's little pet Daddy's little frilly fam She was seaweed and spice and everything nice and I dreamed and I seemed how to put her on ice. Daddy's little angel, how could I compete with a girl so heaven sent? Just one spell from the shell and back to heaven she went. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Daughter number two flung her in a whirlpool where I left her spinning around. Daughters three and four washed up on the shore. Sadly, five and six were never found. But that didn't make my daddy love me. Aww. But it didn't bring me down. Oh no. No, no. It was sad though when dad caught that very rare and lethal flu. So true. <laughs> Also had an additional tot, just a son, so each one. But I think it's so what? So that snot nosed little baby grew, he grew, and grew, and grew, and grew, and grew he grew into you know who. Triton, a male heir. <laughs> when he came of age, he took everything from me, every ocean. Every sea, every pond, every puddle. But now, my little sea snakes, it's time we take revenge on what he loves the most. <laughs> so now he has a child. Sweet. Oh, what a while. And she's got him wrapped around her flimsy little fin. She will be our in. She'll be what we use. Baby can't refuse. There's no way we'll lose. Daddy's little angel. Daddy's little pet. Daddy's little Christ. Down. So sassy, so far, the keto is hard. Ruin her as it were, it'll rip them apart. Daddy's little angel, she's the one to get. Now just take it from a bro, just get daddy's little angel. Trust me, fellas, I know. Daddy's little angel, believe me, fellas, I know. place you were born? What if it's a place you have to discover for yourself? I'd miss you if you were gone. You would? 
Not in a dopey way. Not in a crazy, hopeless, I'm so in love, but she doesn't know I'm alive kind of way. <laughs> Not like that at all. Huh. No. Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, Flounder, you're very sweet. Daddy's never even met a human, but he still thinks the worst of them. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at these troves, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around, do you think? Sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it and what's it galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Duh. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be. Understand, I bet they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. And ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word, burn? When's it my turn? Yourself. If your poor father knew about this. You're not going to tell him, are you, Sebastian? Please, he'd never understand. Uh, oh. Listen to me, Ariel. For my sake as well as your own. It's time you kept your mind on your music. From now on, you'll have voice lessons every day. Uh, and perhaps you can take up an instrument. Something ladylike. The harp, maybe. A ship. Oh, yes. And I saw decorated with mother of pearl and made out of driftwood. Eh. Oh, somebody's got to nail that girl's feet to the floor. Ariel! Hatches. 
I don't want to be king. I swore an oath on your father's deathbed that I would turn you from an errant rustabout into a proper royal so you're worthy to feel his shoes. Now you're making me queasy. And that's not all. I promised I'd have you married before your next birthday. Married? Ugh. Our kingdom needs a queen. Did Sorry. you ever try to take a princess sailing? It's a joke. The crinolines get caught in the rigging, and most of them can't even swim. Swim, sire? Is that a prerequisite? <laughs> sure, if we go sailing. Where am I going to find her, Grimsby? A girl who's as carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? Well, what do you know? Scuttle, be quiet. They'll hear you. Oh, I got you. I got you. We're being intrepidatious. It's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl who's a match for a guy like me? Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither. I thought you were an expert. On this stuff, sure, but he gets the sight of horrible, that square jaw, those broad shoulders, and two eyeballs the same color, no variety. I don't know. I think he's really handsome. You do? Trust me, Grimsby, when I come across a girl in my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Cranes are coming! King Triton must be angry indeed! Bat in the hatches, then everyone below deck, then quickly! Oh, the atmosphere was going haywire! Oh, careful, Scott, Take the watch wheel. out! Secure the ringin! Oh, good heavens! Don't worry, Grimsby! I'll get you home safely! Can't be for sure. No! Oh! I can't make out a hot me. No, look, he's breathing. Scuttle, just look at him. He's beautiful. right out of the surf and she was singing there there now you took a terrible tumble my boy that voice <laughs> I can't get it out of my head it's the sound of the sea that's all no I'll prove it to you I'll find her and I'll thank her for saving my life oh, now, you best come with me a night of rest and you'll be as good as new please you have to believe me you've heard too many tall tales my boy no she was real. Yes, of course she was. As real as a siren. As real as a mermaid on the rocks. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know something's starting right now. Watch and you'll see. Someday.
fish in a small pond. Oh, swimming upstream when everybody else is swimming down. I think it's because she's a Pisces. <laughs> no question about it. She sure is acting fishy lately. She's dizzy and she's dreamy. Her head's up in the foam. Her eyes have gone all gleamy. It's like there's no one home. She floats away the days, moping on the coastal shelf. Ask her where she's going. She giggles like a fool. She barely sticks her toe in down at the tidal pool. It's more than just a face, face it. She's just not herself. <laughs> Is she ill or insane? Is it water on the brain? What has got her bothered so? It's the bed. It's the glue. Gosh, Gosh I wish we had a clue. Oh, wait, oh, dear, good grief. It's clear she's in love. Me like sashimi left over from last week. You see her late at night, tossing in her ocean bed. Shoot, 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 shoot. She's moody as a snapper, oblivious as rocks. You should write up and tap her. She lays there like a lox. I sure is dog shit five songs has made her lose her head. She has lost her She's in La La Land. <laughs> that girl is head of a tail's in love. <laughs> in love. <laughs> Evie. <laughs> Come on, Flounder. Who's the lucky merman? Nor. Gee, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know it was love until the second chorus. Oh, Flounder. Oh, but you're with her more than we are. Yeah, you follow her around <laughs> everywhere. Uh, not anymore. I'm sorry. Not since she started chasing after humans. <gasps> what? Uh, Oh. Human! Oh. I hope and pray I didn't just say humans! Uh oh! <laughs> and this new love of hers, don't tell me! Well, then don't ask me! It's for a damn! No, she's gonna do it! Daddy's gonna be wrapped up! Oh. 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 Thanks, Flounder! You're a regular angelfish! Water, all around your child. And you're still going to play with fire! Ariel! Ariel! Where did she go? Where can 
can she be? When will she come again? Calling to me, calling to me, calling to me. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the shimmer of the wind upon the water. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the glimmer of the sunlight on the sea. Somewhere there's a girl who's like a swell of endless music. Somewhere she is singing and her song is meant for me. And her voice is sweet as angels sighing. And her voice is warm as summer sky. And that sound, it haunts my dreams and spins me round until it seems I'm flying. Her voice. Your respect, sir, you've been scouring the sea for weeks, and to what end? I vow to find her and I will. I've a better idea. On the eve of your 21st birthday, we'll host a marvellous ball. We'll invite countless of eligible young ladies from far and wide. I knew it. To sing for you. What? A contest. What better way to find your mysterious voice? You'll be married sunset that very day, just as your father yes. decreed. Why, yes, that's how we'll find her. Indeed we shall. You She's have my word. somewhere. I just know. I can sense her laughter in the ripple of the waves against the shoreline. I can see her smiling in the moonlight as it settles on the sand. I can feel her waiting just beyond the pale horizon. Singing out a melody too lovely to withstand. is falling and her voice sits there as dawn steals by pure and bright it's always near all day all night and still I hear it calling her voice Strange as a dream, real as the sea, if you can hear me now. Come set me free, come set me free. and back into water where it belongs. But I don't belong here. I oh. never did. I don't fit in as hard as I try. If only I could be up there instead, oh. walking the very same oh. ground he is, breathing the very same... Down thing. here is your home. The human world. It's a mess. Oh. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. You're wrong, I swear. Believe me, child. It's true. The seaweed is always greener than somebody else's lake. 
Yeah, I dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better, don't worry, it's better, take it from me. Up on the shore, it work all day. Out to the sun, they slave away. While we are floating, good times are floating under the sea. Down here, all the fish is happy. As off to the wave they go. The fish on the land ain't happy. They sat first in the bowl. The fish in the bowl is lucky. They ain't for a worse or fate. One day when the boss gets hungry. Get you done on the pit. Uh -oh. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Nobody beat us. Fry us and eat us. In frigacy. Under the sea. We want the lamb. But we love to cook. Under the sea. No troubles, life is the bubbles under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea. Since life is sweet here, we got to be here naturally. Even the stars and the rain. We got the other stars to play. We got the spirits, we got the headaches under the sea. That new play the blue to cup, play the hop to play, play the bass and they sound and chop the brass, play the brass and chop, play the chop. The Duke of Soul That he can play the least on the street Not chop, not chop, not chop, not back this season And the stress they know where it's at And go to blow this blow Sebastian, where? Oh, your justice. She slip away. Do you think she'd betray her family like this? Turn her back on her own kind? Give me a second. Whew. She can't help it, sire. Whew. 
taught her myself. Now she turns her back on everything we hold dear. Where is she hiding? If I only knew! She keeps secrets from me, Sebastian. Not you. I wager you know where she is. Now take me to her. belonged to him once. He's held this in his own two hands. Ariel! Ariel, tell the truth. Did you save a human from drowning? Who told? Which one of you? I I'm sorry, Ariel. I'm nothing but a guppy. Just a lousy guppy. You get every single solo and it's not fair. That's enough. Leave us alone. You too, Sebastian. Now, did you? Daddy, I had to rescue the prince. You had to? Without me, he would have perished. He's a human. You're a mermaid. I can't hate him just because he's different. Perhaps you can, but it's just not in me. Different? They catch us with their hooks. They spear us with their blades. They're not all like that. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? We don't know that for certain. Could there be any doubt? She slips off one morning for an innocent swim and never returns. You can't prove it. I know in my heart. And that's enough. Murderers, all of them. You can't blame all humans for a few wicked ones. I won't have you build a shrine to them. Daddy, no. Worshiping the rubbish. No, please don't. No, 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 The debris that sullies our water. The totems of their decadence. Never again, Ariel. Never again. <sighs> Ariel, he destroyed all of my things. All of my human stuff. If he really and truly loved me, he would Oh, child, it. it's because he loves you. Well, he sure has a funny way of showing it. Oh. He can break every single treasure I own, but he can't break me. Uh, yeah, well, you might just break his heart. And you, uh, some friend, you turned out to be uh, bringing him here to my uh, secret place. For your own good, child. I pray you wake up from this madness soon. He has swimming in some dangerous waters. If only he would look, if only he could see, could love me as I am instead of how he'd wished I'd be. He doesn't really care, he doesn't want to know. I hate him, yes, I hate him, God, I hate him so. Serious problem now, hasn't she? Uh -huh. If only there were something we could do. Who are you two? Sweet child. Poor child. So tragic. So misunderstood. Dear child. Sad child. Life's looking, shall we say, not good. No. Who will ease her woes and worries? Who will help her get her man? Sweet child, perhaps the sea wish can. You can't possibly mean Aunt Ursula. <laughs> she knows your dream. Father says her magic is evil. She'll grant your prayer. Please, I have to go. She'll cast a charm. A tiny spell. No one will tell. No one will care. It's your affair. So 
sweet child, poor child, sad child, we'll bring you to her lair right now. Bed in half a set, you are a prince and you are reconciled. Together forever. Take me to her. of the deep, you've a visitor. I'm not so sure. Oh, yeah, I mustn't get cold fizz. <laughs> Don't be shy, Ariel, darling. It's I, your auntie Ursula. Uh, I shouldn't be here. Nonsense. We're family. Father says you're hateful and wicked. Mm, yes. Yeah. But he says the same thing of humans, too. And we both know that's not true. Why did he banish you? The ocean wasn't big enough for the two of us. And now, oh, he's driven you away, too. He doesn't understand me. But I do. We're a lot alike, you and I. Gals with ambition. Nothing scares a man more. Now. Come, tell dear Auntie Ursula everything. I'm in love with someone. <gasps> a human. Oh. oh, yes. That prince fellow, he is quite the catch. Well, the answer is simple. You must become human yourself. Can you help me? Help you? My dear, sweet child, it's what I live for. Helping poor, unfortunate merfolk as yourself. Poor souls with no one to turn to. I'll admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, see the light, and made a switch. True? Yeah. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls. In pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls It's sad, but true They come flocking to my cauldron Crying spells as an appraise And I help them Yes, I do Now it's happened once or twice Someone couldn't pay the price And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals Yes, I've had the odd complaint But on the whole, I've been a saint to those poor, unfortunate souls. Now, here is the best offer I have, babykins. I know a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Now, it's got a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. <clears throat> Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear Princey to kiss you. And if you do, you'll become human forever. And if I don't? Oh, nothing drastic, darling. I'm sure of it. Oh, look, small print. <laughs> uh, your soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend an eternity in my watery hell so lair. <laughs> Lawyers! Don't you just love them? Now, there is one thing we have yet to discuss. My fee. But I don't have I'm anything. not asking for much, darling. A trifle, really. Just your voice. My voice? Yes, and I know the perfect place for it. Your grandpappy Poseidon gave his magic trident to your father, but this 
This was his gift for moi. Your magic shell. You heard of it. Father says it's the source of all your witchcraft. <laughs> he says you'd you die without it. <laughs> oh, darling, it's, it's a bubble. It's a vessel for your voice. Trust me. Your vibrato, your legato. Even your belt is safe in there. If I give away my voice, how will I... You'll have your looks, your pretty face. And don't underestimate the power of body language. Ha! The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think the girl who gossips is a bore. Guess I'm glad it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is I the prattle for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they'll dirty soon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets her man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross my bridge, what seeds you got to pay a toll? Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Flop some jets and now I've got her, boys. The boss is on a roll. You poor, unfortunate soul. So how's about it? If I become human, I'll never see my family again. Do you, I'll my my sisters. Do you me. want the prince or not? Five, four, three, two. Yes, yes, what? yes. I'll do it. Where do I sign? Oh, not just any ink, darling. Use mine. Beluga Sabruga, come winds of the Caspian Sea. Larynxis Lysitis Lux Mux, Laryngitis Lamoche to me. Now, sing your voice over to me. That's it. That's it, keep singing. <laughs> Keep singing! <laughs> no swim for your life, human child! <laughs> There's something different about you. Oh. Uh, don't tell me. I'll decipher it for myself. Mm. Ah! It's your hairdo. You've been using that dingle hopper, haven't you? She's got legs, you idiot! She traded her voice to the sea witch and got legs! 
Oh, no, not your beautiful pipes. Yeah, see? Not a sound. Oh, kid. I hate to tell you this, but that was a lousy swap. <gasps> what would her father say? Oh, I tell you what her father would say. He'd say he's got to kill himself a crab. That's what he'd say. Oh, she's got just three days. Oh. Three days to what? <laughs> Make the prince fall in love with her. And to prove he gets to, I mean, he's got to kiss her. Ooh, the prince. Well, if you want to wrangle yourself a prince, you got to learn the gentle ways of perambulating. She'll do no such thing. Yeah, sure she will. Oh. Come on, have a seat, Daisy. Oh, come mm. on. Oh. What's this? You giving up so soon? That's not like you. You gotta have a little gumption. A can-do oh. attitude. Take it from a gull, who knows? Now look at me, you see this face In terms of beauty, I'm a basket case And as for style and savoir faire Well, I guess there ain't a whole lot there Yet, although perhaps it makes no sense I strut my stuff with lots of confidence Cause though I lack an awful lot There is one thing I've got I've got positivity I got positivity it gives me the Zam and the Zow and the yada lada lada. That's why I walk with a wiggle in my oh. bottle. And once you've heard that word, there ain't nothing you can do. So let that positivity work for you. Positivity? What does no such word? Oh, well, sure there is. It's in the dictionary, right next to pop suckle and pre hysterical. Believe you me, I've seen the work wonders. See with the bit and the bop and the bop bop boo You can flip and you flop till your wish comes true The tip is to tap is something that you believe See with the zig and the zag and the scissors See there ain't nothing you can't be You see it's really your prerogative you simply can't be negative. Then there's you just sitting there, sat down flat upon your derriere. If that's the way you wanna be, well, you might as well be shrubbery. So get right up and dust your seat and walk real tall upon your own two feet. And though you'll slip and make mistakes, you've got what it takes. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Better than that, come on. Just watch me, okay? That was a good try. Please, you must tell me, what is your name? 
excuse me, you don't speak English? Oh, sore throat, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, you don't speak at all, do you? For a moment, I mistook you for somebody else. Yeah, what's wrong? You're hurt? No, you, you need help? Oh, 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 a bit dizzy, aren't you? I've got just the remedy, a warm bath and a hot meal. Come on now, you'll be fine. The, the way to go, girl, way to wheel him in! This is gonna get me in some real hot water! Oh, can you believe that guy? What a crab. Now you know that word, there ain't nothing you can do. That fat positivity was for you. Found her? We've searched everywhere. There's no sight of your daughter. Then don't stop searching till you do. Yes, sir. I never meant to wish her ill, Daddy. I know, I know. But if, if Ariel doesn't go back and, and I'm forced to, to, to sing her solo, no, 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 no. Don't call us. We won't rest, Papa. Not till she's back. Thank you, dear child. As if the loss of your mother wasn't enough. The poor child was the shore like Ken. Perhaps it was a horrible shipwreck. We'll never know the truth. She won't speak. Not a single solitary word. Do what you must to make her presentable. A scrub in the tub, a proper frock. Getting your strength back, dearie. You know, I can't help but wonder what must she be thinking. I give a farthing or two just to hear her thoughts. Oh, just look. It's like I'm in a storybook Oh, it's bliss I dreamed that it would be somewhat But not like this Look over there Oh my God, how very odd and what my baby Something splendid maybe Look over there Could you bust? Isn't it just bedazzling? Dazing, utterly amazing Gazing round, it's like to die. Just seeing it feels so good. I'd scream if I only could. I'd hoped and wished and wanted so to be here. Wished and prayed and planned it to a T. Prayed and wow, just look, it's really me here. Walking around, strange as it seems, somewhere beyond my wildest dreams. Look at her there, looking round. Won't make a sound, just keeps on gawking. Weird how she's not talking. Look at her stare, looking this. Chosen like this to stay for dinner. What does he see in her? Hush now, girl, she's simply shy. Just picture the table chat, one side and a bee the net. Pimple, ladies, in two short nights, the prince will be holding his contest. Young ladies will be singing themselves silly all to win his heart. Tonight, he'll save us some quiet. Wildest dreams. 
speechless. Hungry? Attention, attention! La menu possess! Escargot! The tuna tartar! Lobster bisque. Holy mackerel! Such a sweet little succulent crab. Quel dommage, what a loss. You belong in the sauce with some flour. I think just to dub. Then I stuff you with bread, it won't hurt. You'll be dead, and you'll surely be lucky you are. Cause it's going to be hot. In my big cup and pot. To tell you more point. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Prince Eric, since we've dined in the company of such loveliness? Usually it's just me and Grimm. He's got to look across the table at my ugly mug. Well, the bath certainly worked its wonders. She's groomed for a groom, you might say. Easy, <laughs> old boy, easy. My, <laughs> isn't that unusual? Thank you? Don't tell me she's fond of tobacco. <laughs> ah, it's the pipe. Can't say I blame you. It's an antique meerschaum from Dusseldorf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old friend, but it looks like your pipe smoked to you. <laughs> Very amusing, yes. Well, she certainly knows how to make you smile. Shall we? Oh, no. 
offer something truly exquisite. The creme of the creme de la creme. Ha ha ha, you may ask, but what is it? Is the treat a surprise, a delectable treat, one I know you'll just love. Allez, bon appétit. Look at the two of us. What a couple of misfits. You're a quiet girl in a noisy world. I'm a prince who'd rather be a simple sailor. We're both fish out of water, you and me. What, did I say something wrong? I'm sorry. <laughs> who needs words anyway? A smile says just as much sometimes. <laughs> Nimble on your feet, aren't you? Dancing beats small talk any day. Why, sure, it's the way your feet smile or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Dancing is a language that is felt instead of heard. You can whisper, sing, or shout without so much as a word. Try it. Go on. Like so. Just let your emotions tell your body what to do See how much a single gesture can reveal And every little step, 
every single step is one step closer to saying what you feel. Once the music hits you, inhibitions fall away, and you find that you're expressing things your voice dare and say. Don't be afraid, let go. Soon as you surrender, what's inside will sweep on through as the boundaries between us disappear. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer to talking loud and clear. A dance is like a conversation, except you never need to make a sound. And once you've begun, you speak as one give and take, back and forth, round and round. felt instead of heard but it says much more than language ever could and every little step every single step is one step closer one step closer one step closer to being understood Forgive me, I, I haven't been myself lately. It's after midnight. I should let you get some sleep. Good night. Frying pan, heat to the fire. The things I do for you, young lady. Now I know what I shall do. I shall march out right back home to your father so you can uh, be miserable. For the rest of your life. It's true I got no backbone. All right, child. I'm in. Now I got to make a plan to get that boy to kiss you before it's too late. You got to bat your eyes like this. Then you got to pucker your lips like this. Now you put those two things together and you got the boy in the bum of your hand. Now come off to bed with you, child.
That was too close for comfort, boys. One night and they're already dining together? Then dancing cheek to cheek. I should have known. I should have known that there was something more powerful than my black magic. The power of true love. Teenage hormones. <gasps> it seems the little tart is off to quite the start. Just one night and Princey Poo is wallowing in bliss. Just think of what they'll do with sunset number two. Idiots, go block that kiss. Yes, yes you are. After In the meanwhile, our poor proud puppy. Betty's wondering where his baby's been. Worried sick, so upset, not happy. Soon he'll guess the noise of the fun will begin. Daddy and his angel, how they're gonna hurt when I put his in full flow. Just like this goes amiss, and that girl will be mine. When she's had that her dad will be caught on my line. Just a spell from the shell, and it's back to heaven. Never dare to join me out here. <laughs> Too afraid they'd muddy their shoes, but not you. Peaceful, isn't it? Not another living soul for miles and miles. Nothing is happening. They spent all morning on horseback, dinner picnic, and now this. And not so much as a peck on the cheek. So, uh, how about this weather? Oh, this is going nowhere fast. 24 hours. In 24 hours, he'll be married off, and Ariel will be deep six. Oh, we gotta do something, and quick. Like what? <sighs> we got to create the right kind of mood. Ooh, something romantical. Candlelight and shampoo. Oh, nonsense! It don't take all that. Everything we need, we got right here. Percussion. Strings. Wind. And moonlight. There you see her, sitting there across the way. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. And you don't know why, but I die and I try. You wanna kiss the girl? Yes, you want her. Look at her, you know ya too. Possible she wants ya too. That's one way to ask her. It don't take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. Sing with me now. You know, uh, I really ought to know your name. <laughs> Maybe I could guess. Alexandra. Annabelle. Beatrice? Ariel? <laughs> hey, that's kind of pretty. Okay, kiss the girl, Ariel. Kiss the girl. Now's your moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, you better do it soon. No time will be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. She don't say a word, and she won't say a word until you kiss the girl. Right? 
Sebastian, <laughs> what would that? Lightning. From underwater? <gasps> Must be some kind of freak storm. Well, I ought to get back. It's my birthday tomorrow when we're hosting a contest. Grimsby wants to be married by sunset. Or else. Most merciful Triton, I pray they'll keep calm. Where is she, Sebastian? Where is Ariel? She'd be so angry if she knew I was here. I entrust my youngest daughter to you? And what happens? Well, ought to have you cracked. Ought to have you shelled. What? He almost was, your greatness. In all for Ariel. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself, too. What kind of tragedy Her will tragedy it be? involving the sea witch to be exact! What did you say? These two elves came, and they took her straight to Ursula, and she traded her voice for a pair of legs, and if the prince doesn't kiss her... Her voice? She traded her voice to become human? By sunset tomorrow, that child could be giving up her fairy soul. Her soul? And draws to that wicked sister of yours. It's time I dealt with Ursula once and for all. Pardon me, young lady. Anything else you require before bedtime? Very well, then. You best catch 40 winks. A big day tomorrow. Prince Eric must choose his bride. I mustn't look so blue. The secret to happiness, child. We mustn't wish for impossible things. So wonderfully, impossibly familiar Why do I feel dizzy in a way I've only felt but once before How come when she looks at me It seems like time stops moving Almost like the way it did that day Upon the shore
Tomorrow the prince will have his pick of any princess in the land. How can a little mommy compete with that? If only I knew how, I'd make him see the light. If only it were up to me, this all would turn out right. And if I only could, I'd tell you what I'd do. I'd simply wave me glad and make your dreams come true. And would that surprise ya if you only Dear friends, to our contest, the first that our kingdom has ever seen. We gather today for a vocal display, so our prince may at last choose a queen. These six princesses possess the most accomplished voices in all the land. And tonight, one of you will go home with the crown. May the best woman win! matches the voice in your heart. <laughs> I wish I could say yes, but she's not here. Uh, but uh, her father rules all of Prussia. <laughs> this one's richer than Midas. Mm. Oh, and this one, she's one of triplets, but they're willing to break up the set. <laughs> no, Grim. You'll be the death of me, boy. What am I to do? The sun <laughs> has nearly set, and soon your birthday will be over. You must choose someone. Perhaps 
steal ourselves and we take another lesson. Ariel? For heaven's sake, Charles! Wait, must... Grimsby, be quiet and listen. Go ahead, Ariel. <laughs> oh, child. Poor lost child. I had so hoped, dear Eric, that you might find love somewhere in this very room. Perhaps I have. I've just been too blind to see it. But that's impossible. She didn't utter a sound. No. Well, that's funny because I heard every single note as clear as a bell. That must mean something, old boy. Perhaps it does. Can it be another contestant? That's it. That's the voice. Oh, dear. This is most unexpected. Tell her the competition is over. Tell her she's too late. And on the third day, too. Time's up. You lose. <laughs> yes, I'm dragging you down. Down, down to the depths where you belong. There we go. Time to your prince, your pretty dresses, your set of pumps, your mind now, mermaid. Get ready to spend the rest of your days as her slave. No particles off her back. My daughter. Nothing. She's done it all herself. Draining her heart, her voice, and for what? Human heartache? Give her back to me. <laughs> Not on your life. It so happens that your daughter signed a contract. No. Even drew a little heart above the eye. Is it binding? Goodness, yes. Unbreakable. Unless. Unless... There is a little something we could try. Go on. Yes. Perhaps we can arrange a sort of trade-off. Maybe swap your daughter's soul for, say, your own. What? Sign the scroll and set her free. Or else she comes with me to suffer an eternity alone. The mute little hatchling, drowning in her own sorrow without even a voice to cry out your name. It's not my soul you're after. It's my power. Well, what would you rather be? The king of the ocean or a father to his little girl? Ariel! I'm waiting. Yes! Once again made whole, all the magic of the trident and the shell in my control, and now dark showering forever of our ocean, sea, and shore. See how banishment feels. my black magic now. My voice. Spell is broken. Give me back my shell. If it breaks, you die. <laughs> 
you still believe that after all of the lies he's told you? Lies? What lies? You told her that the human world was hideous. And what was it instead? It was beautiful, beautiful beyond compare. He's shameless. Why, he'd do anything to separate you and your prince and their kind. He'd even go so far as to say they murdered your mother. Wait a minute. If demons didn't kill her, then who did? It was you, wasn't it? All this time I was blaming demons, it was you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't hurt a flea. Now, give me my shell. And I'll give you anything you wish. Liar! No! Not you, not my sisters, not this place. The only place I've ever truly called home. I'm the one who's at fault, Ariel. Blaming humans when all alone. There's goodness in people, Daddy. I know. I've seen it. Even when I couldn't. I'm proud of you, Ariel. Your mother would have been too. Somehow, in a blink of an eye, when my back was turned, you grew up. You love him very much, don't you? It's what she wants, Your Majesty. More than anything. Please. You belong to his world now. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Tomorrow at sunrise we search again. But your majesty, she is lost. I won't rest until I found her. Look, sire! Eric! Ariel? Could it be? It's been your voice all along, hasn't it? Who are you? This is my father. I'm keen tried. <laughs> Astonishing, I must say. Why it defies all plausibility. Your Majesty, at last I found someone who makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. But if I slip out to see sometimes, I don't think she'll mind, because she'll be right there next to me, keeping us both on course. With your permission, sire, I'd like to make her my wife. My permission? Ariel can speak for herself. Yes, Eric, yes! <laughs> Happening! No! Grog after bedtime. A bad idea. You are the young man's father? Oh, heavens no. I'm his guardian, nothing more. I'm sure his father would be very proud of both of you. Why, thank you, sir. He is my one shining achievement. A bright light in a dark world. <laughs> Congratulations to us both, my friend. <laughs> and to you, yes. And to you as well. <laughs> I believe I've lost my marbles. Stay. 
believe me, I would try. But fathers have to learn, that daughters have to grow. If you truly love them, you must let them go. And oh, I love you so, if only you. All tales and superstitions, eh, Grim? <laughs> so, that's truly the king of the sea and she's his daughter? Does that upset you? Oh, heavens no, I just believe she's royalty. <laughs> Yeah.